morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today I want to talk to you guys about flow. A lot of you know it's one of my main issues with reef tanks that a lot of people have. They think their water quality is bad, and here it really is, is just they just don't have proper flow for their corals. Um, I'm always trying to get optimal flow, and it's difficult when you have a mixed reef. It's difficult with a frag tank set up like this because it's just not a natural setup for a reef tank or the ocean or water or corals in general. Most corals don't grow like this. So these are on frag plugs just so that you guys can have them and get them into your tank. And then once they're in your tank, you either want to break them off the flag plug or glue it in your tank, but you don't want a whole tank of just frag plugs. It doesn't look natural. So, but anyway, one of the things that I keep trying to say is the water flow, when you have racks and stuff, it's really hard to get proper flow through the whole tank because you have an impeller in the back and you want it to reach the front and it's either gonna whip the crap out of the corals, you know, or it's just, it's just hard to position. Everything's a balance. So owning an aquarium, it's all about you understanding and you learning your corals and you learning your tank. It's almost like a relationship that you develop with your tank over time. That's why when somebody else comes up to your house or your, your system and they're looking at it, Man, they don't know the quirks of your equipment. They don't know the quirks of your tank. Every system, every ecosystem is different. So there's just so much information to teach people that it's really, it's really hard to do it without telling everyone that every situation is different and you have to kind of learn on your own. You can pick up tips and advice from people and you can hear a lot, but you gotta build that relationship with your corals and your tank. And you do that slowly and you do it by watching your tank and observing. You can see right away here, these ultra, these are my Corlus Spark neon green star pops. They're the brightest in the world. Um, and they're getting a gentle flow right here. You know, and you can even see on the bottom, that's a beautiful flow. But, look at this over here. This guy won't even open up properly because he's getting his butt kicked. The polyps, you may not always be able to see them, but some of these Favias, some of the Montes may not open if they're getting their butt beaten by the current. So if you're wondering why your corals aren't always as doing as well as they should, there's a lot more to it than just your water quality. So water flow is something like I always tell people, hey, hey, you know, pay attention, this is important. Um, but, it's overlooked. So anyway, I'm kind of babbling here to myself. I'm looking at my tank as I always do. Um, and I forget I'm talking to you guys. But lighting is so important and water flow. Water quality, stability is important, but man, I wouldn't put it past water flow. So as I was trying to say earlier before I got off topic and distracted, this frog spawn can't even open because of the current is so strong. But then you look in the back, the ones up top, they're not getting the flow they need, but yet the one on the end is getting decent flow. So trying to trying to get good flow in a frag tank is hard. A lot of pumps that I put in the back, I used to have a gyra back there, but it broke. Um, so I angle them at different places. I raise these up different heights. I try to have the current come all the way forward, bounce off the glass, and then roll up to the back of the tank. So this has always been trial and error for me. There's no real exact science um, with these setups and these frag tanks. So I wish we didn't use propellers. I don't like wave makers at all. Um, one, because they put electricity in your tank. And two, because they break, you have to clean them. I'd rather have a closed loop system. My favorite thing in the world is a closed loop system. So, all right guys, you've heard me ramble enough. This is just an awareness of your flow today and just wanted you guys to pay attention to your tank. Corals need flow for cellular respiration. You need to take away waste and also bring food. So if you have them in a stagnant spot in your tank, and I know there's one because detritus always settles in a stagnant spot, no matter how much flow you have, you will find a stagnant spot somewhere for detritus to build up. So. Pay attention to your tanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your feedback lately. Um, I've been extremely overwhelmed. I'm sorry. 
I didn't even turn the lights on today down here because I've been so busy catching up with emails and everything else and just trying to get things together. So thanks guys, as always, I appreciate the great comments, appreciate the feedback. Uh, happy reefing and until next time.